All right, this is gonna be a quick little video about my dog. And um, before I get started, I gotta send a shout out to Arthur Sucks. Uh, go check out his channel. I'll put a link in the description down below. He basically posted a video about his doc and what program he uses. And I noticed a lot of other a bunch of users are doing the same thing. So what I use is not Docky or Adwin or AWN. It's called GLX Doc or Carl Doc. It's uh, highly customizable and you can do a lot with it. Uh, this theme I'm using is my own, I guess. Um, I didn't like build it or anything. All I did was change the settings around and change the icon set and, and some other things. Like it's very um, tweakable, I guess, you know. Just imagine uh, Compiz for your desktop, basically. It's like Compiz for your dock, you know what I mean? Same idea. Anyways, um, let me give you an idea how it works. Let me open up my home folder and let me open up my. Well, not really my mini tunes. Actually, my. The other user on this computer is a senior citizen. She's my aunt, and she loves, you know, her oldies. Nothing against it. I love oldies, too, you know what I mean? But uh, this is basically hers right here. So let me go ahead and minimize it and minimize this. And uh, I don't know if you can see that, but see right here? There's, like, a ring around the, the application that's that's forward, I guess. That's uh, focused, I mean, right? So every time I, I, I need to change applications around, I just simply, you know, click on the on you know the thumbnail or the icon you know what I mean so if I minimize it you can actually see the little thumbnail on the bottom so if I need to bring it back out or if I need to close it just middle click or if I min minimize it I can also middle click close so that's how I have it personally set up you can you can actually have it minimized to the to the icon itself I guess kinda like a Mac right um, as far as applications uh, my aunt uses Firefox you know I use Chromium basically, basically because it's super fast. You know, MiniTunes is hers. It's a music player. MiniTube um, is a YouTube client, which is great. I don't really use it on my desktop, but I usually use it on my laptop, mainly because of uh, Flash being so CPU intensive, it really kills my battery. So I use this instead. Games. Uh, these are all PopCap games she likes. You know, Bejeweled 3. She loves that, and uh, Piggle and Angry Birds. So that's basically hers. Graphics, I use GIMP, of course, all the time. Uh, My Paint is an excellent program if you have a tablet, like a Wacom tablet, you know, pen and, pen and tablet, I mean. Um, it has excellent excellent brush dynamics, so if you're used to drawing a piece of paper, you'll pick up My Paint real easily. You know, it, it reacts almost dead on like a like a pen or a pencil. Inkscape is an excellent uh, SVG, you know, editor, image editor. Shot well for my photos. Uh, Adobe Cooler, Let's see if it loads up. It's basically a color swatch, right? I use it all the time for GIMP. Uh, if I have a hard time figuring out what colors kind of blend together, I can just use this. Kind of, kind of. It's more of an aid than anything else. I don't really rely on it too much, but um, too bad Adobe killed uh, Air for Linux. But you can still use it. You can go to the website itself and, and uh, use that if you want. All right, for videos, OpenShot and Kenya Live, I use them both regularly. DVD for making DVDs for some family members and friends. Uh, cheese from a webcam. Sound converter for converting some oddball, you know, you know, uh, audio files from my phone that I use as an MP3 player. Uh, K3B I use for burning ISOs. Office I have, you know, LibreOffice of course. G Speaker for reading back long paragraphs and whatever. I have a hard time reading, so I use G Speaker quite a bit. Dexter for my contacts. Ooh, okay, what else is here? Uh, type, write type for uh, spelling aids, I guess, and some offline dictionaries I use quite a bit. Uh, Ubuntu Tweak, of course. I don't use it too often, but I basically use some of the functionality of it for purging PPAs and uh, cleaning some configuration files. It, it seems to be easier rather than using a terminal. Also, uh, the Ubuntu Software Center, of course. Uh, the Control Center is basically this, you know. All your settings and stuff are kind of just bunched into here. I don't really need that, I guess. You know, I can always go up here to the top right. You know, same thing. But anyways. And my eject button for my CD, DVD, ROM, and my trash. So, the cool thing about Card Lock I really like is, other than being very customizable, you can actually uh, import and export themes, right? So, go to manage themes. You can download themes off the web. You know, click on it and give you a little, give you a little preview, I guess. There's a preview. So, if I want to save it, it says right here, build package. Click on that. Or it says uh, kick ass theme. That's one of the themes I saved. Apply. Yes, all right. So there it goes. It's going to build this theme that I'm using that I made, right? It's going to build it into a little, I think, a tar GZ file. So if I wanted to, I can upload it to the web and people can take it. And if I wanted to uh, 
to bring the thing back, you know, like reinstall it. I can just, you know, browse for it and reinstall it. So it should be my home folder. Here it is right here. So this right here is basically this down here. You know what I mean? So it's a really cool program. I do highly recommend it. It's, it can be a little bit frustrating at times trying to figure out all the settings. You know what I mean? But that's just, it's just cool. I like it a lot. So anyways, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching and uh, see you guys later.